people, they hear Moscow Mule, and until I tell them, most people think it was created in Russia. They have no idea it was made in Hollywood, California. I'm JJ Resnick, I'm the president and CEO of the Moscow Copper Company, and I'm here today to tell you about the origin of the Moscow Mule. Jack Morgan. Morgan. My great-grandmother, Sophie Berezinsky, Sophie was a little girl in Russia and she would go to her father's copper factory. She was there daily. Sophie had the idea to create a copper mug. She actually designed the copper mug and they made thousands of these copper mugs. The problem was nobody was buying them in Russia. Fast forward, Sophie is now in her 20s and she decides it's time for a better life. I'm coming to America. Sophie makes the trip. Her father was able to put almost 2,000 copper mugs and put them on the boat and send them over with Sophie. So she meets her husband in New York. Then they both move to the West Coast. Her husband, Max, grew tired of having these copper mugs fill up their little apartment. So Sophie started going around door to door. She ends up meeting John Martin, who had just started a Smirnoff vodka company. This is 1941 now. Nobody was drinking white spirits back then. Everybody was drinking the brown spirits. Then we've got Jack Morgan. Jack Morgan owned the Cock and Bull Pub, and he loved to homebrew ginger beer. Nobody was drinking it because, of course, they all drank ginger ale at the time. You've got these three people with copper mug, vodka nobody's drinking, and ginger beer nobody's drinking. They found the perfect concoction, and the Moscow Mule was born. So now I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect Moscow Mule. You've got your mug, copper mug filled with ice. As you may know, copper is an incredible thermal conductor. That's why when you go to take a sip of your Moscow Mule, it immediately feels icy cold. And this is because the mug is actually pulling the heat right out of your body. We're gonna start with our vodka, and we want one and a half ounces vodka. You just use a little, just a half ounce of the ginger syrup. You're gonna do about four ounces of club soda. Last is squeeze of lime. So, and there you have the perfect Moscow Mule. It gives me chills when I see the Moscow Mule on menus all around the world. Recently, it surpassed the margarita to become the most popular craft cocktail in America.